well here's just a, a quick update video as I proceed to try to get this darn machine running. Uh, lo and behold I found a belt from Panasonic that will actually fit in there and drive the head scanner in this thing and it looks like it's working. The tape I've got is apparently defective but about the first 30 seconds or so has a recording on it that uh, looks like it was made with the camera of some people in the early 60s or the mid 1960s by the fashions. There's no audio. I don't know why. The audio path is working uh, fine on this machine. I can touch the head wire and it buzzes up a storm on the speaker. So let me demonstrate. Okay, the power is on. As you can see, this, this lamp is on. And so I'm going to pull up the head scanner and turn it on. And I've got a still picture and now I'll put it into play and you can see that it is playing it is playing fine this piece of recording is great the apparent TV program later on is not as you can see it, it starts to play and perhaps the it seems like I'm getting head clogs but I don't think so I think the machine that recorded this clogged up. It's going okay at the moment. Um, they've got their levels set wrong, of course. This is quite common. But it's playing, and in just a few seconds you'll see it go noisy and go away. And watch it make a liar out of old lab guy, too. Okay, well, the TV doesn't like the vertical sync, but that's uh, CV2000 sync for you. That was the problem with CV2000. Well, I'll be darned. I think I think this is playing farther into the recording than it did a minute ago. There she goes. Well, okay, I saw this video as well. Now, this is more modern. Somebody was recording on a CV2000 or something and was having trouble because, as you see, it's clogging up. And that is classic head clogging. And I don't, I don't know what to do about it. I, I'm going to let this tape play now for a while. But what will happen is it's going to go to a point and it gets so bad that the, that the, um, the uh, video will actually mute off. The TV will just go black. Like that. So let's rewind the tape to the beginning and see if it... Um, plays again. If it is, then my heads here are not clogging up. It's, uh, it's giving it a go, and there she goes again. So I believe that the recording on this tape is defective, and not necessarily my, my machine. Now if my heads are clogged, if I rewind to zero, the video should play again, if my heads are not clogged. So let me rewind the tape. And I have to watch the tape counter. Sorry for the crappy handy cam work, but that's the way it is. Whoa! <laughs> All right, uh, the tape ran out. All right, we're back. I threaded the tape again. Start the scanner put this turkey into play and lo and behold we do have clogged heads so well it's clearing and okay the tape is good at the very front but seems to go bad well folks I would be willing to bet that that lady in the picture is somebody's grandma today if she's even still alive. Anything's possible. And now we're playing again. Now if we watch this video we'll probably see it do exactly the same thing again. So either this tape is is just shedding and needs to be cleaned 
or it's recorded this way. You see the rolling bar running through? That is when the heads are not locked in record. So the recording machine is having some trouble. Now it's locking up and it's trying. Now it's going to go out here in a second and then it's because he stopped and started recording again. There it goes. It locks up. There's Merrill Streep for some reason. And this recording is not as good as previous. You see the fluttering and wavering. And she's going to go cruddy on us again. Right around here we start clogging up. Although I do believe it's... well, there it goes. So that is the progress that I am currently making with this machine. I'm going to let the tape play for a while and keep an eye on it. Perhaps there is uh, something uh, farther on the tape that plays okay. We'll just let it run. Well look at that! It's coming back on its own. Perhaps this fellow kept recording and was unaware that his recording went to hell and that his head's clogged up while it was going and perhaps the recording machine's head's unclogged briefly now they're clogged up again one head is clogged you notice you can see part of a picture that's because you're getting one field and then nothing and then one field and then nothing this is not uncommon it's quite common with these old machines one of my favorite things was to record a movie off of television only to have a head clog two minutes into the movie and then not find out until two hours later when I went to watch it again because I was like that. To summarize, this CV2000 appears to be working very well, all things considered. The video playback circuits are working. Both video heads appear to be adequate. Uh, the servos uh, seem to work on the early part of the video. Uh, that plays back perfectly. I wish it was longer. And um, the audio problem is probably a bad audio head, but I have spare parts and I can switch that out and check that. So stay tuned for upcoming updates uh, where I will uh, of course demonstrate this machine in a fully restored condition playing normally and then uh, a, another video which will uh, demonstrate playing it through a time-based corrector into a video capture system so that I can of course get the video from these tapes make DVDs or edit them into my YouTube videos. So stay tuned for all of that. For more information about early video tape recorders, be sure to visit my website, www.labguysworld.com.